a lecture hall which has a capacity of about 250 mm. um, students is this morning totally empty. Well, if you know the University of Ghana's schedule very well, um, its lectures start from 7.30 a.m. And so, properly speaking, by this time, this class should have been full to capacity. But the opposite is actually what is happening, uh, giving you an indication that indeed, the strike of the University Teachers Association of Ghana, as was so declared sometime last week to take effect this morning, is now in full force. And so there's absolutely nobody here. I see a couple of the students, uh, while I walked into um, the lecture hall, standing outside, a bit stranded, because indeed, um, the indication is that for some of them, they did not even know that um, their lecturers were striking effective this morning. And so some of them are even sitting outside. You can see them um, with their heads um, on the table. Um, I, I spoke to a couple of them outside, and uh, you can see them having a conversation. Uh, be jaw-jawing and thinking whether or not their lecturers are indeed um, going to come for the lectures. I'll just try and get a bit closer um, to them this morning and then uh, speak to them about um, where they are coming from and why uh, they are still, you know, um, around here. But I think you can come a bit closer so we have a quick conversation. Right, so these are some of the students at the University of Ghana who um, had lectures this morning. And for them, they were really hopeful of having to uh, meet their lecturers in the um, classrooms. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be happening. Worse off is that um, there is another strike which is currently in force uh, being organized by the Senior Staff Association Universities of Ghana. So their strike is sort of coinciding with the strike of the University Teachers Association of Ghana. Good morning, what's your name? I'm Deborah. D Deborah, um, so you're a student of the University of Ghana, correct? Yes, please. Which level? Level 100. Level 100, you had a lecture this morning? Yes, please. Okay, T tell me about the lecture. Um, is, it, is it happening? Uh, why are you outside? Yeah, I think it's been canceled. Yes, I came with the hopes of coming for tutorials. We were told on Friday that there'll be tutorials towards the preparation of um, the exams, but it seems it's not coming on, so, yeah. Was there any communication to you whatsoever? Yeah, we got a letter. It was sent on a group chat. But I just hoped that there would be lectures, so I just came to find out. Mm -hmm. So you are hoping against hope that, uh, about, about what course are you reading? And I mean, are you done with your, with your coursework for the semester? How is this going to affect you? I'm doing biomedical engineering, and we are not done. Yes, like we have a lot to cover. And since we are just using six weeks for learning, we have a lot undone. And they were planning to use this week to finish the things they couldn't finish. And since the lectures are not coming on, I don't know how we'll be able to finish them. Yeah. Well, I'll come back for us to talk about how this will um, affect you. And you, you've, you've mentioned the six weeks. And um, there's, there's a peculiar explanation to why the University of Ghana is doing six weeks um, for lectures and not the original 13 weeks as you have it. I'll give that to you. But what, what's your name? Etonam. Etonam, I saw you sitting out there, uh, you're reading yourself. You, you, you seem to have already taken um, the, the, the stuff into your own hands and you are, you are learning ahead of the lectures, correct? Yes, please. Okay, so tell me, what course do you read and why are you out this early? Okay, so initially, um, the normal routine was to be 13 weeks of study. But with due to the COVID-19 and then it, its outbreak and everything, it has been reduced to six weeks. And even with that six weeks, we are not able to cover everything in class. Some topics are being given to us as reading assignments. So it is up to you, the student. If you don't take on the extracurricular activity on yourself to learn more, you are really going to be left behind. So even before the coming of the strike, there was a shortfall in terms of contact hours and so on? Yeah, probably, but it was limited. More okay. of online and then less of face-to-face. -face. Okay. But with this second semester, I'm a level 100 student. Okay. So with this second semester, we've had more face-to-face -face than online mm. lectures, mm. yes. And you are hoping that this morning you'll have your lectures um, to, to, to teach you, but that's not happening. Yeah, hopefully, but if it doesn't come on, we still learn on our own. Okay, let, let me speak to this lady. Well, this lady tells me she's coming from um, Kwabinya. You can confirm that, correct? Yes, please. So you're coming from Kwabinya. Uh, it means that you're not a resident uh, on campus? Yes, please. 
Okay, so you had a lecture this morning? Yes, I don't know if it's coming on, but for me, I thought it was coming on. Okay, and so, so you prepared and came? Yes. T tell me, what did you find when you went to the class? <laughs> Nobody was there. Say again? Nobody was there, please. Nobody was in the class? Yes. But are you done with your um, coursework and so on? Yes, please, majority. You're done with majority of it, but you have exams this week, correct? Yes, please. Yes, please. So this is this week is supposed to be your what revision week? Yes, please. Yes. And then you're not having like lectures around. <laughs> no, please. Okay. And so this is just uh, you know the the situation here at the University of Ghana. Um, the students sort of walk in and walk out because of the absence of the lecturers. Uh, the lecturers are demanding um, what they call. Uh, proper conditions of service, as you would have it in 2012, the a single spine salary structures adjustment put them a little over $2,000 at entry level for um, lecturers. But that is not a situation here. Now they are demanding that must happen or else they are not returning to the class. And indeed, they are not in a class. Uh, from here at the University of Ghana, um, reporting for joining us. If you can hear me back in the studio, I'm, uh, anymore, back to you.